Hello fellow collectors and welcome back to my channel for one more one six scale action figure video. In this video we're about to unbox, review plus my personal top five poses for the one six scale Blade Warrior by Present Toys. This is an iconic hero and it is a must have for everyone. What we are seeing now, it's not the real box, it is the cover of the real box and even this cover is looking very nice with black and red matte colors, present toys logos at the sides and a really nice picture at the front. Now this is the real box in black matte color. Uh, it has an open mouth, a vampire mouth with a present toys logo at the sides, the normal warning signs at the back and a picture of Wesley Snipes in the front a very nice one even those for those who have the Hot Toys Blade figure I think you need to run and go buy this one guys and uh, you will see what I mean by checking the inside parts of this box now let's see what's inside starting as always with the hands now in the movie he's wearing gloves and uh, the figure is coming with three pair of hands one on the figure two spare in the box they are very very elastic very very nicely sculpted this is a very helpful plugging in out and uh, it allows you easily to adjust uh, the accessories uh, on the hands look and open uh, fist here uh, it's a hand that you can use to grab his sword or something else or a nail look how elastic it is it is very nice and the details are very nice now let's move to this gigantic stand base this is massive the platform is very big it has uh, played uh, a very nice uh, this, uh, sign with the blade logo, which is metal. Um, yes, this is the, the tribal logo. It's matte. Let's check every corner. It looks very nice. And it's so big you can do everything you want on this stand base. Now let's start by checking all the accessories. Let's have a very quick look uh, at the sunglasses. Um, sunglasses are uh, nice plastic black uh, sunglasses. They feel like they have lenses but we will put them on the finger later on and uh, you will have the chance to check them on the figure. Now let's start with the double double blade uh, daggers. They are very nice. They have nice details, very good paint applications and sculpting. Uh, they are functionable, but they are plastic. Okay? They are plastic, but they are, overall they are very, very good. Nice color, functionable, nice details, screen accurate. You get two of those. Now let's check the... I think these are the garlic uh, injection uh, system he was uh, wearing. Uh, the mechanism inside is working, it is functionable. Not very... it is a little bit loose not very stiff but okay this is how you put it on his arm and also you get two of those let's move now to the guns to the two small guns the figure comes with two small of guns and one big uh, let's check one of the smalls of the small guns uh, this is uh, the gun very nicely painted silver and black uh, the mechanism on top is moving, it's movable, uh, but they are not weathered at all. They have no weathering on them, no dry, dry brushes or something. They look like new. The magazine is coming out and 
the disappointment of a black bullet, not silver, because Blade was using silver bullets for the vampires. Uh, this is how it looks from the front. You get two of those. Uh, a little bit disappointment with the guns, guys, uh, to be honest with you. I would like them to be a little bit uh, more weathered, not uh, looking like new like this one, the big one. Again, uh, feels like new, looks like new, like uh, nobody has used it uh, in the past. Nothing is, mo is movable here except the magazine, uh, which is coming out. And, and <laughs> instead of a silver bullet, you get a golden bullet. Uh, that's okay, that's cool, let's move now to no, nothing is moving, yeah, this is it, overall it's looking good, it's a nice touch. And let's now go to the mother of the accessories, uh, the blade of the blades, <laughs> the blades sword, this is the sith. It is plastic. Everything from the accessories now are plastic. The seat is plastic. The peg to install it to at the back it was that. This is the seat. You can see the handle is very nicely painted, looking like metal. Also, the blade it looks like blade, uh, like metal uh, die cast, but uh, it is not, guys. Like I told you, it is plastic. You need to be very careful when you. Um, pull it in and out because uh, you can uh, scratch the paint and uh, mess with the sword. Now let's have a look at this uh, black uh, jacket. Uh, he, had, he was wearing uh, one of those uh, in the movie. Uh, it has magnets it uh, opens and closes with magnets and uh, make your life easy to put it in and out. Uh, it is a very, very nice and very good quality one. And the figure said is giving you these gun holsters. It is like a vest with gun holsters. The holsters are leather, everything that has to do with leather. Present Toys claims that it's leather. I'm not uh, here to sign under this uh, sentences and say yes it is leather, but they are claiming it is leather. I am here to believe them. And uh, now let's check the figure. Talking about the leather, the leather coat. Let's start checking the figure from the bottom to the top, as always. Now, the coat has wire inside, the fabric inside the coat is very nice, this red satin. And let's have a look at the boots. They look very good, they look like leather, but they are plastic. Plastic, but very, uh, you know, rubbery, very rubbery plastic. Uh, some people were saying that the boots are big or something, but uh, they look good for, for me, the, the size is very nice. These are the nails, the silver nails he was uh, using in the movie to stab uh, in the heart the vampires and kill them. This is the only die cast accessory in uh, this figure set and they're looking very very good. Uh, that's his belt, the trousers are nice, they, they say they are leather. The vest, it's looking very movie accurate and it's two parts, inside you can uh, have some articulation at the torso. Uh, here is, I don't know if uh, you can, uh, this is scratching, you can take it on and off and put the, I'm not tr going to try, you can uh, install there the guns. Uh, I'm amazed with the coat, it feels very very nice quality, it's looking very nice. Uh, it feels very nice, it has nice stitching, this is uh, where you install the plug of the sheath and you put the sword there. Uh, like I told you, all the stitching and all the job they have done at uh, the coat is amazing. Look his collar, it can stay, it can stay up, sometimes he's looking more badass like this. Uh, the, 
the sleeves are very tight this is something I like you can see his muscles from uh, from inside and uh, I think they have done a very very nice job present toys uh, thank you very much he's wearing a tin shirt uh, underneath the coat I'll try now to show you uh, the sleeve of the t-shirt and uh, the material it is made of you can also check it uh, out at his neck and now let's have a closer look to the head sculpt uh, the head sculpt I think it's not a recast from any other company hot toys or something uh, I think they sculpted it present toys uh, sculpt this head sculpt it's really nice the skin texture the skin texture on a saved uh, head, uh, saved hair. Uh, the skin texture on uh, saved hair with tattoo. Uh, the tattoos, the, everything looks great, it has veins. Uh, very nice applications on the hair. Very nice eyes, eyebrows. Um, the likeness is 100% and I feel that we are looking to a very nice very nice figure guys here look at this even the tattoos at the at the neck are so 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 accurate uh, very very pleased with this head sculpt now uh, let's put the sunglasses on him to see how he is looking like this is how he looks like with the sunglasses the bad ass look Now, as you have noticed, we haven't talked about articulation, and this is because the top 5 is coming. We will lay back now, relax, and watch the top 5 poses. Enjoy!
That was my video. I hope you liked it. If you do, don't forget to show it to me. Subscribe and hit the notification button to help and support me create more videos. Thank you very much and I'll catch you at the next one.